Alright, little bird dirt bike is, uh, or moto man should I say, moto, moto for life. Can I still call you a little dirt bike? I still call you a little dirt bike. Alright, but his channel is moto for life. What are you doing here anybody? I'm uh, sealing up the threads here, putting a little uh, silicone sealer. Silicone, okay. So that way uh, I don't have any water coming up through there. Yeah, that's the only place the water's going to come through. That's the only place that has a chance of leaking. And we probably would have been alright just with the bolts, but uh, what the hell. We have silicone, right, buddy? That's right. All right. I'm going to let him finish this up, and then we'll get back to him. Alright, looks like Mike is uh, he's going to make a, a measurement there, so we can put our little uh, tube. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah. it's going to be copper pipe, right? Yep, yep. We'll cross the okay. tube there. But you're going to have to set in as you put as your head, you put head, on. head on. Right. Yeah. Not going to be able to get that. Okay. So, looks like you're probably going to need to be two and five eighths. Say two and a half. Okay, let's do it. All right. All right. So, we've got the copper pipe on and I'm uh, going to throw the head on now. I didn't catch it, but the uh, little dirt bike put some blue block on there instead of Teflon tape. Are we using this old head gasket? Yeah, yeah, one? I think so. No, that's good enough. Okay. I'll regret that when I hear a yeah. leak come out of there, but. So how exactly are you expecting to do this? Well, you're going to have to swivel the fittings and bend the tube. Okay. So probably put that on there first right. and then get, get two of the bolts in so you can feel them where they want to drop in. There's these two there. And then you're going to have to, a combination of bending the copper pipe and swiveling of the fittings to make them line up. It's, it's very, very thin wall copper, so it should... Uh, I want to flex without too much trouble, I think. Yes, you're not. You're gonna have to. Have you got it through the spacer too? Yeah, it's through the spacer. Okay. And through the. Uh... You know, just disregard the head gasket. Let's take it off and take the head gaskets out. All right. Or, so you don't have to worry about trying to go through them at the same time. Okay. And we'll just work on getting the copper. Bent to where it should be. Yep. You can see how far off it is. So. Just take this out. Cool. Okay. Oh. These guys had a little trouble because when I when I tap them threads, the the top piece there is actually closer to the head than that. So it's not it's not exactly a straight drop. No, and it should be better once we put the head gaskets on. Yeah. So give us a little bit more height. Yeah, so I had the so uh, take that had to bend a little bit back out towards the head and a little bit towards the front. Uh, they got it. They got it all hooked up. All right, looks like they got uh, pretty well lined up. Where bolts are just gonna make it? They probably got maybe four or five threads. That's good. Okay. That spot face uh, looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, I like how the washers are, you know, they're look nestled in there. That's Terry, that's our buddy Terry today. That was his idea. Okay. You know the torque spec for that, buddy? Uh, 95 foot pounds. <laughs> 95. <laughs> what is it, Mike? It's probably like five or six pounds. 
It's uh, about five bucks. mic pounds to me. Yeah. And it's probably about uh, ten bill pounds. Yeah. Get a get him an Armstrong socket. An Armstrong crook wrench. Now we're getting there. Got the head on now. Got the one piece of plumbing on. Won't take much. Alright. We got all this hooked up and everything. The, the fitting over here. Connecting the head and everything. And we never did check this pump out. So what we're going to do is going to hook just some plastic hose up to it. And uh, see what it does. I guess I'm going to put a carburetor on there. And see if I can find an exhaust pipe. Alright. Yeah, so we're still going to test it. Alright, we, we just put a couple of air fittings in the end here so we can hook up some plastic uh, hose. And we're going to try this uh, pump out. And while we're trying it out, I figure we'll check for leaks. Even though it's probably pretty impossible to, uh, for something to leak on this as much epoxy as on there. Alright, try it out, buddy. So that's, that's probably about 500 RPM right there. Give it full speed to it, though. Wow. It's right in the drill. <laughs> Let me see. Give it a little back pressure. Still runs. Still got a, still got a nice flow. But that's, uh, that's good. You see any leaking? Uh, no, I don't see anything. I see water, but I think that's from me. Yeah, so you spray it all over the place. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get it running. Well, that's cool, man. That feels cool. Oh, yeah? Oh, wait. Wait, I feel a hot spot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shut it down, buddy. Do it one more time. Let me see. All right. That's good. We're going to have a good flow through there. And you can, I can always put a, a knob on there and regulate it if we have to. All right. Maybe, uh... Maybe we'll put the sticker on and call it quits for tonight. What do you think? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, it's getting late. Got any tests tomorrow? Uh, no, I got stuff I got to do though. Okay. All right. Got an idiot edit a video. Oh. <laughs> All the right. Tubes. All right, what are you doing now, buddy? Get ready to put the uh, our decal on here. Okay. Yeah, that's a water transfer. A lot, of, a lot, of, a lot of kids don't even know what a water transfer is. You know what? We, we're not. You bring them other ones out. Yeah, they're over there. Alright. Here you go. These are new old stock, these, uh... You know, with this light in here, you can hardly see anymore. But, uh, see that Meyer Cord... Meyer Cord Corporation. They used to make all these decals. They, matter of fact, it's the only company I know of in the United States that makes decals. They still make them, but not this kind. I think they make them for the government, you know, for, uh, their equipment. But it's like a hundred-year-old company. But anyway, that's pretty interesting. Because everybody asked me where you get them. You know, I just happened to be able to find some of these on eBay that were new old stock. There are, there are some guys reproducing them. Most of them are in Mylar, but it's tough to come across the, the water slides. Although they're out there, I think there is some guy making them anymore. But anyway, I thought, you know, I, I thought that was a, a neat piece of history when I read the back of that. You know, they, they used to have, like, they used to sell clowns and birds and eagles and stuff. Put them on trays, all kinds of stuff like that, you know, for uh, decor in the 50s and stuff, art decor. But anyway, interesting company. All right, let's go see how a little dirt bike's done. What'd you do, buddy? What, what's that? What did you do? I didn't do anything yet. Uh, it looks like you lined it up. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, we got a little piece of tape here to help us uh, stay oriented. Okay. Yeah, it's all you need is that little, uh, little dot. That'll, that'll center them up because you can actually slide these around. And what he's doing over here, I think, he's, uh, that water's warm. You let it sit for about 10 seconds, and then you try sliding it off with your fingers. Once that water soaks into the back. How's it feeling, buddy? Uh, not getting it. Here we go. Got oh, some low. sliding action. Okay. Sliding That's all you do. Once it starts sliding. And then, then what he's doing is he's, he's sticking the edge out there. And he's going to hold that in place and, and pull the... The cardboard out from no. behind it. Did you rip it? I ripped it. I might be able to save it though. You should be able to. 
Yeah, you gotta be real careful with these. These things are uh, really brittle, especially old ones. See, and once he gets it on like that, he can uh, straighten it out and put it where he wants it. And if it, if it breaks like he did, if it's not too big, you slide it into place and you won't even see it. Pretty good, buddy. And then what he's got to do is, uh, you see where his thumbs are? He's been carefully massaging the water out of it. And that's what helps it stick. But they are very delicate. Looks pretty good, buddy. Yeah, it's decent. Yeah, pull back. Let me sit. Yeah, man, that looks good. I like the way you bend it around the top there. Give it a little, uh, it's almost like a three dimensional look. Thank you. Very cool. All right, I don't know how, how long this video is, but uh, we're not really going to start it up tonight. We're just putting little finishing touches on it. So, uh, what do you say? Enough of this, buddy? Enough of this. All right. See you, tubes. See you guys. All right. We're going to do this video, but what are you doing over here? I'm making this a happy engine. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at that. Oh, man. That is a happy little engine there. You got two little arms. Yep. Little arms and a hat. And a hat. <laughs> Pretty cool, bud. Yeah.